what is up guys and it's been a while i've been busy editing and in this simple video i'm going to show you guys how you do the typewriter effect in adobe premiere and you don't need after effects super simple and i'm going to get straight into it into my computer and walk you through it step by step so for the simple basics of this tutorial i'm just going to open a typical uh, 16 by 9 timeline and there is one other workaround which is i believe the right on effect where you literally do the keyframes and you hide the text frame by frame and it's a little complicated and you need a pretty powerful pc but for the basics of this simple effect i'm going to show you a really quick and easy hack of how you do a typewriter effect without going through thousands of keyframes only as much as your letters so now that you have your timeline here next thing you want to do is you go into your graphics panel depending on what you which Adobe Premiere news I use 2018 because I like it. 2019 tends to crash for me a lot. So you click your text tool. And let's say for this simple text, we're just going to animate BVCCO, which is Broke Visionary Collective Company. And you're subscribed to that channel. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell is awesome. Actually, no, that's too long. Is cool. Okay. Pick your text that you want. And now for the actual animation part. Depending on how much of the animation you actually want to do, you can also change and stretch out the layer right here. Let's go for 10 seconds. Go into your effects panel. And what you're looking for, if you don't understand keyframes, I'm going to go into keyframes just a little bit. But essentially, here is your tracker here. And if you hit the opacity on 100 and you drag this and you go to zero, that will essentially give you a cross dissolve. And uh, you learn a little bit more about this in After Effects, but it's good to have an understanding of keyframes for this tutorial. And as you can see, the closer you move it to the first keyframe, the faster it will do that effect. But let's get into it now. You guys are probably being like, when is this guy finally going to talk about the typewriter effect and here I am so you want to go to your source text and as you can see there's a little stopwatch here and that stopwatch is essentially your keyframe animation so you want to go to the beginning of your text layer you hit that and you want to get rid of all these letters and depending on how fast this animation is you can go one frame and you click this again you put your second letter, go to your next frame, put your third letter, next frame again. And you make sure you want to click on that text layer and not do what I did and create another layer. And you want to zoom in here and you can see you're making keyframes. So one more letter. As you can see here, you're still in the same frame. So you, you want to be careful of that you want to go to the next frame. And then you want to press your next one and you want to keep doing this until you write out your entire word or whatever it is that you're trying to animate so I'm gonna skip ahead here just a little bit now that we have each letter animated you will see what will happen now you go into your timeline here and if I press play you can see there is that little letter by letter kind of type writer effect and that is the little hack to play it and that is the simple way. So just to clarify, all you need to do is go into your source text and you start with, depending here, I started with B, but you can also go with, with no letter at all. And then you click your uh, keyframe and then you go to the next frame and then you punch in your letter and the next frame, the next and the next and the next. And as you can see, it will type it out. And to make it more believable, what you can do is you can get any sort of like type typewriter effect sound and you kind of just want to put that underneath the layer itself and if it's too slow you simply just speed it up a bit and there is your typewriter effect and yes you can get more complicated and have like a little spacing bar actually I was in the process of actually making it more fancier and I'm actually going to a little bonus if you want to stay till the very end is that if you want to make it more believable, what I did was control T. So you open up your uh, legacy title editor, editor here 
And all I did was then use the line tool. Make yourself just a solid line. And then you match that line to the text here. And then what I did afterwards was I positioned from the very beginning of where the text started all the way, all the way till the very end. So it'll give you that little kind of a space or that typing effect. And then what essentially now is I'm going to, since what I have right now is it's just a solid line going across, which does look pretty cool, but I'm going to make it look a little bit more believable. So I'm going to go frame by frame here and you can see what I've done is I've just made little cuts and what I'm going to do now is delete those. So now there's, it actually blinks and that is your complete text, right? Or typewriter effect made in completely Adobe Premiere and it's that simple. But if you want to get more advanced, you can do write on effects and there is a brush stroke effect in Premiere Pro, but it's very computer heavy and GPU heavy and you need a beast of computer. And speaking of computers, let me know in the description if y'all want how, what is the best video editing computer and specs for you to buy for your 4K video editing computer rig. And hope this video gave you the step-by-steps on how you work around and do a typewriter effect. Super simple. And if you haven't checked out my free camera guide yet, link is in the description, get it pretty much lays out, I lay out the complete basics and foundation of what kind of camera gear you actually need when you first start out. And this applies all across the board. Doesn't matter if you have a Nikon, a Sony, Canon, whatever that camera it is, this guide will definitely help you, especially if you are a complete beginner with no experience. My name is Peter, you're watching Broke Visionary Collective, and that was my quick little guide. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Let me know in the comments what type of videos you want to see. I'm currently thinking of and brainstorming new ideas and revamping overall the look and aesthetic of my own content. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Cheers.